All right, so far I have showed you how to use the mouse for dealing with the elements in your Word documents here. And so we've looked at how to select some text, make some changes very basically with the ribbon. But what about for those of you who like to keep your hands at the keyboard? And of course, the more comfortable you are with a particular application, probably the less and less you're going to reach for the mouse in order to make a change. Well, there are lots of keyboard shortcuts that are integrated into Word 2007, just like they have been in previous versions of Word. And what I really want to reassure you is that most of the ones that you're probably familiar with are going to be kept intact at, and make the upgrade, or if you're using this for the first time, a lot of the common shortcuts that are used throughout the operating system, Windows for example, can still be used in Word. So to give you an idea of what I mean here, I'll just make a selection of text and, and let's move the mouse so that we don't see the palette there. What happens if I do Control X? Well, that is the keyboard shortcut for cutting text. What happens if I do Control V? Well, that's the keyboard shortcut for pasting text. And what's really helpful, now probably everybody knows those keyboard shortcuts already, or at least probably 75% of the audience at least. But what's really also helpful is that as you start to use the ribbon, if I hover the mouse, you'll see the keyboard shortcuts for a particular action or a particular command that is in the screen tip. And to make sure that those screen tips are on, again, open up your Word options and screen tip styles show feature descriptions in screen tips. So make sure that that is not the setting. Don't show screen tips. One of these two will be just fine. So OK. So if I want to paste text or if I want to use the format painter, all of those are shown. The keyboard shortcuts are shown the control ones in the screen tip themselves. So what happens if I were to do control S? Well, you'd save. What about control P? Well, you'd print. What about control N? If I do control N, I get a new document here, which I will now close. And I could have done the keyboard shortcut of Alt F4 for that, I guess, as well. So those are the control shortcuts, and you can investigate those certainly on your own. The other way that you can navigate around the entire application without touching the mouse is to remember the Alt key. And when I hold down the Alt key, all I have to do is press it one time. I see a bunch of little buttons pop up all over the ribbon. One, two, three, four gives me quick access to the quick access toolbar, or quick shortcuts to the quick access toolbar. If I do an F, that opens up the Office button menu, as you can see here. And if I'm in something and I want to go out of it, all I have to do is remember the Escape key. So Escape gets me back there. Escape again makes those buttons go away. So if I want to switch, for example, to the page layout, hold down the Alt key, and just again, just hit it one time, hit P for page layout, and now if I want to apply themes, I can do TH, and now it opens up my TH, or my themes gallery, after pressing TH on the keyboard, and I can use the arrow keys now and make a selection and apply a completely different theme, and you can see in the background that the live preview is taken care of, giving me a glimpse into what that's going to look like. Escape, escape once again, takes me back a step in this, and escape one more time, takes me all the way out. Alt H to go to the Home tab, and then if I just want to make a selection bold, for example, I can press the 1. I don't have any text selected, so again, let me make a selection of text. Alt H for Home, 1, and I've just made the selection bold, which it was bold before, so Alt H 1 again makes that selection bold. Finally, what I want to point out in this module is that there's a reference guide for you for keyboard shortcuts. There are dozens, dozens more keyboard shortcuts I can show you in this module, but it would take up another 10 or 15 minutes. So rather than do that, I just want to get you pointed in the right direction, and that is the little help button. You can press F1 on your keyboard, shortcut for the help files, or you can just go up with the mouse, click on that little blue question mark and do a search for keyboard shortcuts. When you do a search for keyboard shortcuts, you should see this right at the top of that list, keyboard shortcuts for Microsoft Office Word, and this will provide you a pretty handy little reference. So navigating the ribbon, quick reference for Office Word, so find and replace browse through text, control F brings up the find dialog box, and so on and so on. Again, I don't want to read you the entire interface here, the entire help file, but rather just let you know that you can go here to look up or even print out a reference card of quick little keyboard shortcuts.